is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. Usos. Usos. Their promo last night, uh, before the New Day came out, was awesome. Okay, now we've seen flashes of this where they let the Usos go and kind of do their thing and let them kind of riff and freestyle in essence on a promo with a real urban hip-hop type feel. It feels young. It feels aggressive. It feels tough. It feels cool, you know, and and I, I you know, I dig it. And, and I'm not a kid. I'm a guy pushing 50, and I think it's badass. I love it. You know, I think it's great. I, I'm a big fan of these guys. I think they're good for wrestling uh, because of their ability. Their, their 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 physicality as wrestlers, uh, and that they're 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 kind of they're they're in their own lane. They're not hacking no one. They're they're being being themselves. Now some would say, well, wait, they do the super kick, they do the super kick, you know, and the young bucks do super kicks. Well, listen, <clears throat> there were many before the young bucks that did a lot of super kicks. So <laughs> I will say, and I will admit, yes, the young bucks definitely made the super kick party gimmick. They made it kind of popular for sure. Just like there were many guys with threw suplexes before me. But, you know, uh, super kick, that type of move, that's like saying, well, this guy's hacking the clothesline from that guy. Eh, clothesline's a tough move to say you're hacking. You know, um, same with a super kick. I think there's been a lot of really good super kicks. But, and the Usos do great super kicks. Let's be honest. I think, I think actually, I think the Young Bucks actually admitted that this, the, the Usos do excellent mm-hmm. super kicks. But this is not about super kicks. This is about how do you, Taz, if you are there in WWE, how are you going to make that promo, which was awesome, by the Usos, much better? As I'm watching the Usos, and I'm watching them, I'm looking at the way they dress, the way they act, their vernacular, their, their cadence, and their talking, um, uh, their twins, obviously, everything about it, I'm like, this is all really good. WWE just letting them do their thing. But there's one thing missing. And the thing is that these guys are different than everyone, but you're not making them look different. Well, what does that mean? How do you do that? Very simple. It's not about what they're wearing in the ring, not about their wardrobe or their gimmick. Not, not, that's not the problem. Lighting treatment, man. Do something for these guys with the lighting, man. Make it darker. Make it something i don't i don't know make a uh, not a strobe light but some kind of a flashing some kind make it almost like this is going to sound corny and this is not the idea but like um you know at night many of us have seen like police car lights or f- fire truck lights you know how that light just keeps going and going like that in the beginning of raw back in the day they used to have that a siren going and i'm not saying they have a siren going i'm saying lighting make it darker make it a little more sinister you know not like the Bray Wyatt stuff. That that's over the top. I'm not, and that works for Bray. I'm not saying that for the Usos. Some kind of a lighting treatment would make this and these promos by these guys feel so much better. I have no problem with them being in the middle of the ring doing it too. I like that WWE has them in the ring, and they don't have them like you know on some urban street corner, you know, at night or at a bodega or something like that, where their characters that would fit. Obviously, I, I I'm not saying do that. That that too could be corny, you know. I'm saying do something with the light and just make it darker. Make them look different. You know why, guys? Because they are different. They feel different. They perform different. They look different. They act different. They sound different. Give us some lighting so we really feel that ambiance that it is different. You know what I mean? Lighting in TV is a huge thing. Huge, 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 huge important thing. And the money that goes into lighting is insane. By TV production companies and movies and, and, and whatnot, because it's vital. It's v- extremely vital. And WWE knows that. And WWE spares no expense with lighting. And I'm not accusing them of that. They're, they're definitely, I just think that they're just letting them go out there and cut their promo and treat them like everybody else when they're cutting their promo. I, I don't think you should do that. You got to do something different for these guys.